What if Osama bin Laden had a series of action figures distributed across the world? Well, he did. And it didn't even happen decades ago or during the Vietnam War. It freaking happened in 2000 freaking 5 by our own US government! What the hello everybody? So get this, somebody walked into the freaking Oval Office in 2005 and spoke to whoever the hell the president was at the time. Uh, I think it was uh, John F. Obama. Uh, hey Mr. President, uh, I work at Hasbro and we're kind of bored of making millions of dollars off of Barbie. Uh, so we're looking for a new uh, female role model. Uh, and, and uh, um, you know who he thought of? Uh, me? No, Osama Bin Laden, you idiot! Well, I guess he is a good female role model. He, he teaches modesty, right? We'll talk about this later! Oh, snap! Because the president got grounded by his facially confused wife, he couldn't do it. So the CIA started the project. Alright, commencing Operation Devil Eyes. I'm going in. Alright, I'm in little Timmy's bedroom. He's sleeping. Nobody's here, I'm gonna put the Osama Bin Laden doll on his uh, nightstand so he'll wake up and get brainwashed by our stupid idea. Alright, just a little closer, 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 what? Oh crap. What are you doing in little Tim's bedroom? I, I know this looks bad, but there's a lot to- Get him! Uh, uh, let me show you a thing or two. Uh, uh, oh. So the CIA worked with a former Hasbro executive who invented G.I. Joe's to work on an, <laughs> an Osama... I'm sorry guys, but... But I mean, I really feel sorry for this guy. I mean, he had to go from making G.I. Joe's to freaking Osama Bin Laden action figures. Like, I'm pretty sure the box for these toys, like, had the action figures in quotation marks. Like, action figures, you know. Anyways, this ex-G.I. Joe maker... Uh, makes a Bin Laden figure that was painted with a material that would reveal a demon face when it was heated. Uh, the whole idea of the program, or Operation Devil Eyes, was to scare South Asian children and their parents to turn public opinion against Bin Laden. But, uh, here's what probably happened. Hey, Bill, you seen those new, uh, a action figures at, uh, Toys R Us? Yeah, I left it on the stove by accident yesterday, and some weird, uh, d it had some weird demon stuff under it. Y you know, I think it changed my whole opinion on who, uh, Osama Bin Laden is. Uh, he's a really bad dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was stupid that I think we are. <laughs> you play any of that new there, fangled, uh, Pokemon Go? So in 2006, the CIA created hundreds of those toys and shipped them to Pakistan and officially admitted to the stupid idea in 2014. And honestly guys, when I first heard this story, I thought it must have happened like ages ago. Like I don't even know how long Osama Bin Laden has been a problem, but I for sure thought this must have been like at least in the 1850s or something. But no, this freaking incident of mass stupidity happened only 10 years ago while most of us watching the video were still freaking alive. And you know, I guess it goes to show that as humans, we're really all the same. We all mess up, we all make mistakes, and I really think that the moral of this story is that we Well, thanks for watching this episode of What The Hell, guys. Um, this is the first episode of the show, so thanks for your support already, and subscribe to see my better two-thirds, uh, that'd be Dale and Harold. If this show interests you, we'll be coming out with more story, interesting, what the hell moments of the history of the world soon. And um, our regular shows every Tuesday and Thursday, we make couch gaming videos. Here's the last one we did. And that's all I have to say. If you have anything to say, be sure to leave it in the comments and we'll take a look. We'll probably reply. Usually now we do that. Yeah.